We're dealing with the flooding as we go throughout the day. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. Let's we'll start off with the coastal flooding. We have a coastal flood advisory still in effect through 2 p.m. Now, flood waters have peaked already this morning, but we still will see areas of roadway flooding on the first block or two of Bayside Roadways. For more details, you can go to our website, pressofac.com slash weather for the latest. But by 2 o'clock, we will be done with that. But then we're watching out for the rain. And that brings a flood watch. It's not like we're going to see a whole lot of rain today. It's a good chunk, but not enough for flooding in and of itself. But because of all the rain that we had on Saturday night, stream and creek flooding will be a threat as we go through the PM hours. Let's show you the rain we're talking about. Steady, solid rain here for 1 o'clock. It has been developing throughout the afternoon. It will continue to be heavy into about 4 o'clock. And then I think the heaviest rain pushes out of Ocean County by 6. So I do think depending on where you are, your commute is mostly dry. Northwest winds sweep in, starts to dry us out. Snow would keep a shower in the forecast for the early evening. And as we get towards 10 o'clock, I think we're completely dry. And again, we will start to cool down and dry out. Rainfall totals half inch to an inch. Not bad. And we have seen plenty of rain so far this December. Second all time year to date. And we will add to that. And again, stream and creek flooding will be a threat. What is also a threat is the potential for damaging winds this afternoon. We have seen this a couple of times already this month. Low pressure tracks just along the coast. It strengthens quickly. We get a tight pressure gradient and that is strong winds. We look to the winds at the 850 millibar level, about 5,000 feet above our heads for what the strongest wind gusts could be. And where do you see the reds? Those are wind gusts in the 50s to near 60 miles an hour. Not saying it is going to happen, but if we get a strong rain cell that moves through or heavy rain, it could drag those winds down. For today, temperatures in the mid 50s haven't risen that much since what we've seen in the morning. Steady rain until about the PM commute. It's going to be gusty throughout the day either way, but damaging wind gusts would certainly add to that. Chance of a rain shower for the early evening, low threat, probably an isolated shower. Then we dry out and clear out as we go on throughout the night. And then for Tuesday, it is gusty out there and it is feeling more like winter. Temperatures in the mid 40s, mostly the partly sunny sky, most sunshine during the morning. We'll keep the winds in for, thir for Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday, wind gusts in the 40s, temperatures struggling to get above 40 degrees, probably feeling like the 20s throughout the day. Then as we go into Friday here, mostly dry, isolated rain shower during the afternoon. Then we have a half and half weekend as we flip to the short forecast. Saturday looking good. Sunday, coastal storm. Strong signal for this. I've been paying attention to this for about the past day or two. Still going to have to work out the exact timing and the threats, but do know that rain, wind, and coastal flooding are all threat as we get to our first weekend of December. For the latest in South Jersey weather and to enter our snow sweepstakes, you can follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at JoeMartWX, Twitter at AC Press Martucci, or our website, thepressofac.com slash weather.